Hey everyone, and welcome to DIY with Jeff. Um, in my last episode, as you all saw, we worked with light bulbs. And today, we will be working with dry ice. So, um, when we're, we always want to remember that when we work with dry ice, we always want to take a precaution and use heavy gloves so um, we don't get burned because it is hundreds of degrees under Fahrenheit, so it could burn your skin. So, as you see here, I've got my dry ice in my nice concealed container with the safety vest. But our other tools that we'll be using is a hammer and a chisel to break it up so we can put it in our jug. We're going to need some type, of, some type of jug that has a small area that would fit onto like a vacuum hose. You could use a Pepsi bottle or any bottle like that. Um, liters usually work, but this one I'm going to choose to use today. And then also, never, ever, 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 ever put a cap on while the dry ice is in it because it could become a bomb and blow up and kill you. Hopefully, it won't kill you like that. And then you're going to need some type of vacuum hose. As long as it has two ends, you should be okay, but um, these work the best. But I've got a big one from a shop vac over here. So, the other part that we're going to be needing is some type of bowl, doesn't matter, little pill bottle, whatever you want to use. Bowls work the best. Fill it with some water and some soap. Stir it up. More, two parts for every one, two parts of soap for every one part of water. So, I've got one set up here with a little bit of water in the bottom. Ooh, it's cold. You can see the snow on the bottom. It's been sitting on the ground. So, I'm just going to... Hopefully that'll get going here soon. I think it's all out. Sorry about that. Okay, so as you can see, it's already starting to pour out of the top of the, the tube. I don't know if you can see that on here. Maybe not. Well, it's starting to come out slowly. So, but as I'm talking, what we're going to be doing today with our dry ice is we'll be taking the part where the, the gas is coming out because CO2 isn't a liquid, it's a gas that we've compressed and frozen over time. So, we're going to dip it into the bubbles and then this head, since it's pushing the air along with the CO2, it's going to be pushing it out and we're going to make bubbles. So, yep, now you can kind of see it. See, it's coming out really nicely. And then, there you have it. So, show you inside. See how it just kind of pops. Oh, isn't that just neat? And how it's falling and everything. Ooh. Bubbles everywhere. So pretty much what it is, it's your soapy water enclosing it as if you were blowing one yourself with the oh well, didn't work with air. So but I thought, you know, this is a fun project that you can do with your kids. And kids, if you're watching this, make sure you're always supervised by a parent because it's very um, dangerous stuff in a way. So safety is always first when it comes to learning. Um, you can usually pick up dry ice at your local store, like a Meyer if you live in that area. Um, but usually it's best around Halloween, which is why I'm doing it right now. It's only like a buck thirty to get the dry ice. So that's about it. So please like, subscribe, and make sure that you tune in to the next ones. They're not always going to be science lessons. Go ahead and look back like there's one about the rocket from a bottle, a plastic bottle, and a light bulb one. So feel free to subscribe. Like, if you don't like it or you've done something way cooler than I have, like something in this nature, then please um, leave me a message below. So leave a message down here. Subscribe up here and like it over here. So thanks so much, and I want to thank my camera girl, my cousin, who came in to help Katie. So thanks so much. Oh, there she is. <laughs> so thanks and happy Halloween, everyone. Bye. See you later. Do you just have
very cool.